All right, so this is the Legend of K. Um, looks like some melee controls here. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, figure everything out once we're in the game. But uh, I, I'm kind of curious about this one because the thumbnail leads me to believe that it's kind of like an action-adventure mascot type game, like something like Jack and Daxter maybe. Um, and while I don't always enjoy those types of games, I usually at least find them interesting, but I've never heard of this one. Um, which is surprising to me because I, I generally think I've heard most uh, games like this or I've heard of them, but I, I haven't heard of this one at all. Um, like we had Cow the Kangaroo recently, which was another one I hadn't heard of. Oh, please, you don't hurt me! Huh. Well, it is kind of reminding me of Cow the Kangaroo right off the bat here. <laughs> hey! Who that there? Who else would scoff at the wrath of a rat? I must be a cat. Yeah, this is great. Great voice acting. Him getting out! Everybody! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm... I'm really excited for this now. I like, I like those voices. They're funny to me. Size, why don't you? Yeah, why don't you? Okay, so now we get to. Oh wait, uh, combo move. Uh, as soon as you eliminate your enemy, you destroy his armor. The combo. I press square to block at the same time. I, I, I probably won't do this. Um, I, things like that. That's a lot of text for me to go through and still keep the video interesting. Um, but basically. I was getting like that there's like a parry feature is kind of what I was thinking there. Um, I don't know, there was something about after you destroy an enemy you have to destroy their armor. Uh, and there was something about blocking. Okay, I found a silver coin. Value five copper coins. But it won't let me pick it up. Finish them good. I hurry now to the hair tree and report to Mayor Dulao. Why you don't drop by for great pleasure to give us yes? Ugh. Sounds good to me. That fucking See rabbit. Right soon, gay. Sounds like a cross between Yoda and Whitey from Eight Crazy Nights. It's just awful. Um, yeah, so, okay, here they are. All those coins appeared, but then it wouldn't let me pick them up. Okay, I don't, I don't need to know what these coins are. I don't care. Um, like that one was a magic coin or something? I don't know. I guess I'm supposed to follow this rabbit down here. So now we're down here. Um, let's see where... I'm just kind of wandering around. It said something about coming to see somebody. I'm just exploring. I don't know. Like, I'm assuming these things are going to attack me. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't tell me what these little things are for some reason. Hold on, there we go. Oh yeah, that worked out well. Um, so these aren't coins, but they're... I don't know, they're filling up a meter up there. I don't know if they're fragments of something. Uh, so here's a little village that was under the tree. Uh, I guess this is where the rabbit lives. Um, I followed a white rabbit down a hole. <laughs> I guess I'm in Wonderland. Um, though it looks more like uh, the Shire, doesn't it? It looks pretty Shirey. Uh, let's see. So I can talk to these guys. Good afternoon. What's the big deal here? What's the big deal here? Yes. We're expecting the rat's attack at any moment. Mayor Tulao is trembling with concern up in his house. Okay. So I assume that these guys are supposed to look like they're preparing for a battle, but that's not what I got at all. Have you seen Bebe? Ah, through your key. They told me about you. You'll find Bebe with our mayor, Tulao. Just follow the way up and enter the open door. There he is. Okay, so we gotta go find Bay. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna talk to every person I see here. Uh, quest solved. Wow, that was quite the quest. Hello, sir. Hello, my young fellow. You must be Kay, yes? Your reputation precedes you. Bay Bay recounts endlessly how you defeated the rats and rescued him. I think maybe he exaggerated a bit. I hear you're after our friend, Cat. You got that right. It's personal. He closed my fighting school, trashed our village. Somebody's got to stand up to that scum-sucking cheese breath. Just so. Undoubtedly, the same things you do to us. 
Our only hope is some protection from the dragon, Torchy. Okay. Look, there's the entrance to the dragon's cave. But we cannot reach it anymore because the bridge is damaged. To get there, we have to solve the secret of the three dragon statues. But the rats inhibit us. We need the three rubies, the dragon's eyes. Legend says that the dragon will help those who solve the secret of the dragon statues. Okay. We had found all three rubies. But always, when we tried to activate one statue, our brave scout hairs got caught and the ruby was taken by the rat. You saved Baby and he carried our last ruby. Just imagine what will happen when the rats enter the dragon's cave first. Their power would grow even larger. Their evil plans would come to fruition. I'll handle this. You can count on me. You have to. Because they want to enchant Torchy with their evil magic. Okay, I'm skipping this. Oh my god, nobody shuts up in this game. Uh, it's so... Oh, it's so hard to sit through. Um, where is Bebe? Is that this one? Is this... This Bebe here? Bebe, you're back home. Okay. Yes, I sneaked past wild bugs and was quite happy to be home again. Oh yeah, I baby was the one. Oh, like okay, yours. whatever. I have to leave for more ratty hunting. See ya. Have fun, and if you have a question, need a hint or something, look me up. Cause I am it. Cool. Okay. For okay. Example, have you oh my God! I don't care. Um. Yeah. So when they were talking about baby out there, I for some reason was thinking, the way they were talking about it made made it sound like he was like an old friend. Hey. I am oh now going God. to open the tree portals for you, so you have access to all areas. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we needed to hear every line of dialogue that was just spoken, but... Alright, so now up in the area where we came from earlier, we should be able to go to some new places. It looked like, um... Yeah, but I can kind of see why I haven't heard of this game. Because by the time this came out, this sort of game really wasn't in style anymore. Um, like you had Jack and Daxter and like Sly Cooper, and I think those were the only ones that really kind of did well at all. What did, what did I do? What, what is happening? I don't know. What was that? What was that about? That was weird. Um, I just wanted to see what was on these like islands here. Cause they look like, I don't know. These look like games, but there's no rules. Found a heart. Okay. So, yeah, whatever. I can guess what a heart does, and you don't have to tell me. So, um... Uh, I'm assuming the audience for this is pretty young, though. Because so far, the game's been more animated feature, like, kind of bad animated feature, rather than video game. So, um... Like, there is, obviously, gameplay, like, we just attacked the bug. But, we s seems like we spent more time listening to people than we have fighting. Mostly because the fighting was really, really simplistic and really easy. Um, again, making me think younger kids. Uh, oh, hey, the Bat King. <laughs> so I, I made a Wonderland reference earlier, like, but I'm actually reminded more of the Nutcracker right now. Yeah, attack. Okay. Bother me, catnip West. We're after that pesky dragon. I need six men or seven. Also, everybody has like a speech impediment, which is another another like children's cartoon thing. Though kind of a dated one for when this came out. I don't. I didn't realize lists were still funny. <laughs> in uh, I guess for me, for some people they always are. But... I'm coming. For okay. But, like, everybody except our character has some kind of speech impediment, and he is pretty clearly voiced by a kid or a young person. I don't know. Like, it doesn't sound like somebody trying to do a young person voice, so I guess it could be. I don't know. But, um, he's clearly, either way, he's clearly meant to be pretty young, too. Um, he sounds pretty decent. So, where did he run to? Like, this way? I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention. This game's kind of boring. Um, oh, hey, what is this? I don't know. I guess a checkpoint, maybe? This... Oh, okay, is this Have a shop? Yeah. This rat king yeah, okay. Um, that's okay, I don't need the stuff. 
It does look like it's kind of trying to be a little bit Zelda-ish too. Like I'm noticing some Zelda-esque tropes. Like not enough that I would say it's like ripping anything off, but um, just some of the items in the shop just a moment ago. Uh, I don't know, that may be unjustified of me to say, but it's just kind of something vaguely Zelda-ish about it. <laughs> where am I going? I'm glad I can swim. Of all the games that I play, the one where my cat is the one where I would expect to not be able to swim. Um, but for some reason, it's okay. Because actually, probably better than Zelda, the best comparison I can make for this game so far is Cow the Kangaroo. Um, even the, the swimming. Let's see. Okay, I can... Here's, a, here's the dragon statue. But I only have one ruby. I don't have a dragon's eye ruby left. Eye ruby left. Now what Go to the rat's camp. Yeah. Um, I'm not actually sure where that is, but I guess... This isn't where I was supposed to go? Huh. Okay. There's like little pedestals here. Am I supposed to... Whoa. I'm... <laughs> okay. So, where is this? I just found this, like, Buddha statue, this cat Buddha. Um... Okay, so that activated a uh, pedestal? I have a new quest. Um, activate the dragon statues, find activate the six cat statues. And dragon... Okay. I wonder how much of this we're actually supposed to be doing within the demo. Um, like, am I honestly supposed to be activating the six cat statues while I'm here? Like, I get how that would be, like, a side quest in, a, in the full game. But I... I don't know, it seems like something... I don't know, it doesn't seem like something we'd be doing in the demo. Um, oh, hey, look at this. That got us somewhere. Can I climb this? Yeah! Shadow of Colossus all over again. <laughs> that was actually a little bit easier than Shadow of Colossus, but also had a lot less control. Um, and obviously I can't do that on monsters. So, I guess we'll go back out this way. Obviously this was the wrong cave. That's where we want to go when we have the rubies. Right now we don't have any rubies, I guess? Um, oh! More rats, okay. There's, I guess I should go through that door? I guess that's where they came from. Um, let's see. You know, these are either pretty big rats or I'm a really small cat. Because they're, um, they're about the same size as me. And cats don't... I don't think cats would prey on rats nearly as much if they were all the same size. But they came out of here, right? So let's go see if we can find the camp. Uh, there's a guy wandering around. Yeah. And, uh... Okay. So, yeah. But anyway, uh... Like I was saying, I, it's not surprising to me this game would not... If they, this game wouldn't have done well. Um... Yeah, I don't care. God, because... Like, not, like I said, not only was this type of game kind of falling out of favor around this time, at least my that's my memory of it anyway, is that games like this weren't really quite as popular uh, by, like, what was this, the 2000s something. But, um, on top of that, it's just really annoying. Uh, I don't, like, the game keeps stopping dead in its tracks to have these, this dialogue, but none of it's good. <laughs> um, like, the characters aren't funny, even though it feels like maybe they're supposed to be. Or they should have been. Oh, yes, and that was a gorilla. Talk about size changing. Stupid rats. Can't beat a mangy cat. But don't worry. Gorillas know how to Yeah. So, like, it completely stops the momentum every time a character wants to talk to me. Because not only are they... They're not saying anything terribly interesting most of the time. They're not saying anything funny. Um, and they all... Everybody feels like they talk really slow. Um, and that, I don't think that's just me. They, it feels like they're just really... Like it takes way too long for them to read their lines. Um, let's see. I, don't, I haven't actually figured out which um, of these bars is my health. It looks like I got him. Yeah, we got a gold coin with two silver coins. Okay, so... Yeah, so, like, I don't know. It's just kind of takes all the action-adventure out of this action-adventure game, you know? Like, this game feels like it should be pretty fast-paced. Like, I think that it would work better if I could move at my own pace, because when I am walking around, um, things are pretty quick, but everything just keeps stopping. Um, so I can listen to this really pretty 
bad voice acting. Um, I need to take care of these things. I don't know what that rock floating there is. Um, it's another chest. Does this have all Dragon Eye in it too? Yeah. Found one of the Dragon Eyes. Okay, so this actually ended up being a lot easier than I thought it'd be. I thought they'd be like, I thought they'd all be in different caves, but we got two there, and then I got the last one from the rabbit, right? Or maybe I'm mis maybe I misunderstood that. So what is this? Does this have something to do with the uh, door there? I don't know what that gem's for. I it changes colors when I hit it. Master your weapons, ride like the devil, dive into the underworld, fight against the hordes of enemies, you are the true fighter. Yeah, so there's like a 15 minute time limit. So that's, they just had a bunch of stuff in the game you could do, I guess. Okay, moving right along, this is Burnout Revenge. I don't really know if I'm going to have a whole lot to say about this one. We have played a Burnout game before, in, um, in episode 40, I think it was, we played Burnout 3. But I really don't remember much at all about it, and the only reason... The only reason I even know that is because the name rung a bell, so I looked it up um, in a, my my tags history on my Tumblr. But uh, yeah, it's as far as I can recall, it's a fairly realistic street racing game. I think it was street racing. I don't think we we're on like a racetrack. But yeah, this that's what this looks like here. Um, yeah, now this looks like it has kind of the like glorified crashes where it like, slows down a bit. Um, we played another racing game like that recently. I don't remember exactly. Um, but yeah, so we'll, um, I don't know, we'll have some fun with this, I guess. It, it advertised, uh, new ways for fight, tracks built for fighting. It's, um, so I guess destroying other cars is something we're supposed to focus on. Um, and it's lagging here. I hope, uh, okay, yeah, it worked through it. Alright, I thought for a second I was gonna have to reset the console or something. Maybe skip this video. But now we can slam traffic? That's good. Uh, it's doing it again. Here, I'm just gonna... If it's, well, it's not letting me skip it while it's doing this. Hold on, there we go, okay. So we, yeah, we don't need to sit through it doing that. These discs are kind of old, so that kind of thing is bound to happen eventually. Um, I just selected race and it looks like we're just going to get thrown right in. It didn't give us a car select or anything. Um, oh good, triangle changes view, we can have some fun with that. Um, yeah, it looks like pretty basic controls. R2 button is crash breaker, I don't know what that means. But I guess um, if I'm crashing, I'll try pressing that to see if I can break it. Use the traffic and track to take down rivals. Why is take down one word? Uh, drive dangerously and battle to earn boost. Uh, get revenge on cars with red markers. Okay. So, I guess, yeah, I guess it marks the cars that, like, cause us problems. So I know who to get my burnout revenge on. Wow, that guy was fast. Um, I was shunted. Damn. Um, right now everybody's blue, because I guess nobody's, like, done us wrong yet. Oh! Into the wall! Okay. Somehow I'm alive. Um, I thought that was me flipping around for a second. Um, I wanted to boost. Okay. So yeah, this is kind of interesting. Like, this is way better than your typical, like, real car racing game so far. Like, we're going really fast, which is one thing I like to see. Um, crash breaker available. Um... What, did, what happened? I pressed I pressed it. I pressed R2 to crash break. Um, didn't seem to help any though. Okay, I don't know. I'm still in second somehow. Um, after all that time, I'm still in second. Oh! Uh, Robin! Okay, whoa! Okay, I, I have no idea what's going on. I'm just trying to keep up with this game. It's This is pretty um, intense though. This, this is way more um, exciting than I remember Burnout 3 being. I don't know if there was changes made or if I just have a really bad memory, that's entirely possible. Um, we've dropped back into third now, but that's okay. We're doing way better so far than I'm used to. What does Crash Breaker do? Oh, does it like destroy cars that are near me when I crash? I'm not sure. Like, it looked like I. What it looked like was when I pressed R2. I exploded and then a car that was near me got taken out as well. So it's like, you know, if I'm going down, I'm taking you with me type thing. Let's try it here. Yeah, it just makes me explode. I got a revenge takedown. <laughs> okay. Um, so I guess I guess uh, I hit a red marker car. But yeah, these turns are pretty hard for me to make because I don't always see them coming. Uh, I'm assuming we're racing. Uh, 
like, I don't know. Whoa, vertical takedown. What happened? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm having a hard time just, just knowing what's going on a lot of the time because it's so quick, which isn't really a problem with this type of game because it's, um, like, it, it's kind of a problem in that it's keeping me from uh, being able to pay attention to what's going on and talk, but uh, as far as, like, gameplay, though, that was, yeah, that was fun. Finished in four. Got some money. Yeah, I, I like this. Um, like, I'm not a big racing fan, and I probably would never buy this game, but, like, if I was hanging out with a friend and they had this, I would definitely play it with them. That was pretty cool. Um, got some points based on aggression and revenge. Um, yeah, I know, I don't think I have anything too critical to say about that, uh, compared to most racing games, which are just boring. Um, but that wasn't boring. Um, Battle of AC Ignited tracks tricked out for takedowns, slam the traffic, and uses a weapon. All new revenge meter tracks underhanded tactics. The story rivals across the globe. It looks, yeah, it looks like there's a variety of places to race, which is always good. Uh, smash your way through traffic, wreak havoc to beat the clock, crash mode to be invented. multi layered for total destruction, explosively extend your crashes. Um, we saw a little bit of that. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to our uh, next game. This is Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, uh, the, um, the first of two Sly Cooper demos here. So, um, oh, we've seen this again. Uh, like we saw in the menu, the, um, the PlayStation Magazine decided, because they were so excited for the Sly Cooper 3 demo, um, that, uh, we've played earlier in the show, that they put, uh, 1 and 2 here on this. Um, Sucker Punch production. So yeah, we get to see some of the, um, animation here, which wasn't in the Sly Cooper 3 demo that I recall, but we did get to see some of it in Sly Cooper 2, which we've also played on this show before, and which is coming up next. Hopefully it'll be a little bit different. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I've not really been looking forward to this. Uh, if you watch Demo Reel, then you know that I'm not really a fan of Sly Cooper. Like, I thought I might would like it, but then once I actually played the demos, I, for some reason or another, I just find it kind of tedious. Uh, I have not had fun playing either of the games. But this is our first time playing the original game, the one that started it all, and presumably the best one. I, like, if I'm going to take a guess as somebody who knows virtually nothing about the franchise. Um, but here we are on a, a rocky start, looks like. Driving around the raccoon van, I guess. Okay, oh, and I'm playing. Alright, I thought it was a cutscene for a second, but nothing happened. So, um, some bottles here. I don't know what those are. Um, but yeah, I, I really wish I could better pinpoint what it is about this game I don't like. I think, um, I don't know. I, I really can't say. Like, it seems like I should like it. Uh, like, I like the cell shaded look. Um, I like cartoon characters. Can't seem to jump over this. I'm, is there something else I should be doing? Uh, I don't know. Um, it seems like this is the direction I should be going. Oh. But, this keep out sign seems to be pretty, uh, effective. I do kind of like this animation where he's, like, leaning on it here. So, it looks better than, uh, I thought it would at first. Let's see... I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't go back past the van. So I'm just supposed to figure out some way in here, I guess? Um... Yeah, maybe... Okay, here we go. I was gonna say, there should be something I can climb on based on how 2 played out. Hey, Sly! I thought you said Mesa City was going to be loud and busy! This looks more like a ghost town! Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps! What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Ninja Spire Jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land safely upon diminutive points, leapeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. Okay. Yeah, and I think I don't really appreciate the humor for whatever reason. Um, I guess I should have been, uh... I thought I was going to climb on that, but he didn't do it on his own, so I messed it up. But there we go. There is people here, though. It's not a complete ghost town. There was that guy. Uh, let's see. Can I climb up this? I, I missed a lot of stuff up there that uh, probably I want. There we go. Okay. I need to get re-used uh, to this. <laughs> Dang, I thought I was going to land on that... Thing. I even pressed circle, but it didn't work. Hold on. Like, is it circle? 
I don't know. Circle makes him cling to this. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I thought I could type up a walk across that. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have to. But it's not working. Maybe that's the thing that I don't like about this game, is that um, I just have a really hard time getting him to do the things that it looks like he should be able to do. That he doesn't, like, he doesn't cooperate at all. Um, and I'm, it's slightly different things in each game that I've disliked. Um, I don't know. I just don't, I just don't find this game fun. I don't know why. I, it just does not work for me at all. Okay, so what I have to do, alright, I get it, is jump and then press circle and land on just the little tiny parts. Okay. I think that's what they were trying to tell me before, but honestly, I I have a hard time caring about anything these characters are saying. So, oh, I got this, so, yeah, help me jump up here. Okay. Um, where did I land? Am I dead? Yeah, apparently I am. Wow. That looks pretty shallow, but he just, just chose to die there. Oh, not all the way back here. Sheesh. Okay, hold on, let me get back where I was. So I'm down to zero lives now. I think I'm probably just going to end up like montaging my deaths. I've tried to play a little bit, um, but every time, I don't know, he, he, he just keeps dying for no fucking reason. Um, like he won't grab onto things sometimes. Sometimes when I hit somebody, they go down. Sometimes they don't. Um, there's like no consistency. It feels like. Or there's like something I just don't understand because some like these those uh, dogs that have their bones, right? I'll walk up to one and sometimes I'll be able to hit him and knock him away. Sometimes I won't and he'll kill me. Um, but it doesn't feel like there's any like right there. I don't know why I didn't hit him. I also don't know why I didn't die because sometimes that kills me and sometimes it doesn't. And I don't know what the difference is because it's not like I I usually take damage before I encounter them. But now I assume this next one will kill me here? There, okay, I mean, that time I got him and he's like floating in the air. Alright, so this is the first time I've ever made it past that dog. And there's immediately something there, okay. I I assume I'm supposed to be going a different way. Like, I, I associate this game with more stealth stuff, not running around smashing things. Like I've been doing, but I honestly... Like, I saw there was another path down the river that led to like a different area there that I could have jumped to. But... The way he, like, sometimes just walks right off the edge, What's I wasn't sure. Lights? The latest in high-tech security. Electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a goner. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. Okay. So... Wait, I was, I was not listening at all. What am I supposed to... Be on the ones that are flashing, are the. I guess I'm supposed to walk on the ones that are lit, um, or not. I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll find out. I, uh, I, I, I just. I don't know why I completely tune out these characters when they're talking. Like the, when that fucking turtle talks, I cannot listen to him. I just absolutely block him out. He's just. Why can't I walk on that? It looks like I should be able to. Uh, no, I don't want to try again. I have no idea why I find these games so hard to, to play. I can't, I just can't even invest myself in them at all. I can't, I don't know. It's, it's just, I, I completely tune the game out when I'm playing it. But maybe, <laughs> since this will be our second time playing this, let's try Sly 2. Now I apologize if there are any, like, hardcore Sly Cooper fans watching. Um, I don't like begrudge anybody who likes these games but I something about them I can't even put my finger up but something about them just really turns me off um but yeah this looks like the same demo we've played before we're dropping down into a museum here 
Um, hopefully I'll be able to uh, maneuver it a little bit better than I did in that one, because it, it took me a little while to figure out what I was supposed to be do. So, um, oh, can I skip this? I don't want to... Uh, I can't. So, anyway, um, I'm stealing something from this place. I don't know what. Uh, but I I can't sit here and listen to them talk, because it's what it, what happens is I listen to that those voices, especially the turtle, and my something in my brain just clicks off, because... I listen to that stupid, nasally, like, fake nerd voice, and I, it just makes me, um, it makes me not care about anything that's happening at all. I, because I really don't like any of these characters. I've tried to like them, because I feel like I should. I usually like mascot-y type characters, like, not always. Um, I mean, generally, I, I at least find them entertaining, if, even if I don't, like, find them relatable or likable. But, um, these ones, I just can't, I really can't stand them, especially that something about that turtle, uh, really bothers me. Um, so let's see, I remember I had to get up on top of that. Um, I'm trying to remember how I did it. Um, oh, there's like a seesaw thing here, I don't remember this. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember how I did get up there before. Seems like I jumped on something. Was it this? Yeah, okay. There we go. Alright, so yeah, we're already doing better than last time. Because I remember it took, like, way too long for me to get up here. Um, so yeah, we'll just see how things go. So, uh, I don't know. I, I wish I had something more to say here <laughs> about these games. Like, I wish I could articulate my problems with them better. Um, but the, it's just really difficult. Um, this is something about this game's personality that I don't like. So, here, he's gonna open up this area for me, I think. Um, this turtle. Uh, yeah, I don't... Am I supposed to do something? I don't think so. There we, okay, there we go. It just takes him too long to do it. I get impatient just sitting here watching him. Uh, it's not like I have anything else. The, the game gives me nothing to do while he's messing with that. Thanks, pal. Yeah. For your first time out, you did pretty well. All oh, this operation is far from complete. Yeah. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Furry God, he's annoying. Uh, <laughs> this game just puts me in a bad mood. I don't know what it is. All of them. I, I wonder. I really thought the first one might would be the one that like let me understand what people like about this game because I know that people like it. They wouldn't have made two other ones if nobody liked it. Um, and like, and I I do kind of get some of it. Like the game does look pretty nice. I I still think it's a good looking game. I don't particularly care for the character designs, um, and I definitely don't care for their voices. Like I mentioned, especially the turtle. Okay, so yeah, I w <laughs> I'm just supposed to go across and meet the, the hippo now, who's the other character. We didn't see him in the last game. But, uh, yeah, but I, I think also what it is, is it combines this personality I don't like with the, um, more of the stealth type game, which is a game that, I, uh, it's a game type that I can appreciate, but I don't particularly care for playing. Um, we've played a lot of, like, uh, stealth games for adults, on here, things like uh, Metal Gear and um, Siphon Filter and things like that, and I just don't have the patience for them. So combine my lack of patience <laughs> with my distaste for the game's atmosphere and um, characters, and what you end up with is just me getting really, really frustrated and fed up. Every time I'm trying to play the game, it stops to tell me like all this stupid stuff I have to do to get across somewhere. Um, and while it's doing that, I have to listen to those voices, Espe especially since the character I hate the most is the one that has to explain stuff to me. So anyway, um, the hippo should show up in here, I think, here soon, uh, if I recall. There he is, okay. Murray, yeah. I don't like him either, but I find him a little bit more tolerable. Um, yeah, but I think I'm supposed to really like these characters. Because the, there was a really long cinematic in the demo for Sly Cooper 3 that played up like a lot of sentimentality and was clearly like targeted towards people who 
who give a shit what happens to these characters. Um, it didn't have much effect on me, but um, yeah, I think I'm supposed to find these characters charming or endearing or something. Um, it's just impossible for me to. So can I get under there? Okay. Yeah, I have to sit around waiting for them to do stuff. These guys, they're so slow. Uh, yeah, I'm. Yeah, usually when I play a um, a mascot game that I like, it's a lot more fast paced than this. Um, we're gonna have to keep stopping quite so often to hear things. Cause like I like Crash Bandicoot, and there's like very little talking in Crash Bandicoot. Um, Crash doesn't even talk, uh, so I can enjoy that more. Spyro the Dragon has a lot of talking, but not quite so much, and the characters aren't quite as annoying, or at least I don't remember them being as annoying. Um, so, I, I don't know, it's, I'm, I'm trying to like, while I'm playing this, I'm trying to like self-discover my tastes here, because I've never thought seriously about what I like in a mascot game, but between playing this, and we played Legend of K earlier, and Cow the Kangaroo a few episodes ago, and these other mascot games that I just could not enjoy. Um, it makes me wonder what it is I do enjoy about the ones I like, and probably what it just comes down to is that I played those um, when I was a kid, and I didn't play these when I was a kid, so I'm not nostalgic for them. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm not really a huge fan of Sly's relationship with this uh, policewoman here. I don't. I don't really get what what they're how they're supposed to interact. Because um, it feels like they're trying to do like a a romance thing with them, kind of. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what Constable Neela's role is either. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Facts. Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than Sly Cooper! After him! Yeah. Freeze! So I think she's supposed to be like obsessed with him? Oh hey, we had, we didn't get to do this part uh, in the other demo. Like I think the game stopped right about here and we ended up going to a different mission. So this is kind of neat, or maybe I just forgot it. Cause I'm just, like this is, I don't know, I'm just running. So maybe I forgot it, but I don't remember running from her here. But I do remember there being a cutscene shortly after we saw her that was about him escaping. So I don't know. This doesn't seem familiar. <laughs> I remember everything else pretty clearly. Okay. So, oh, they went through a door, but for some reason I couldn't. So I have to. Okay, and I, I guess I did play because this is the cutscene I was thinking about with this like um. Kind of cheap looking flash. Carmelita's <laughs> just as angry as ever. She's really quite lovely when she's angry. Yeah, that's the line that that bothers me. I'm not sure. Like, there's supposed to be like romantic rivals, I guess. Kind of like Batman and Catwoman, but switch. Uh, like gender-wise switch. But um, I don't know. So yeah, this is where we get some of the backstory to the game, and I I think I watched this pretty much silently when we played it before, but basically there's like a clockwork owl and some bad guys are trying to assemble him, and I'm assuming he was the bad guy of the first game, I don't really know. Or, yeah, here's where he's got his metal whatever stuff. Um, I, I just don't care at all. He caught up with my parents. And I wound up yeah, he orphan. killed his parents. Poor Sly, he was an orphan. Pals, For some reason, still walking around dressed like a thief with that crook. I don't know what the, the deal is there. But, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, I'm assuming this stuff here is all the end of the first game. I don't know what's in my future, but I won't let you But yeah, the, so this cutscene, I feel like it could be a lot better. Because I kind of like the idea of, like, animated cartoon cutscenes in a video game, especially one that's already, like, cell shaded and cartoon looking. Um, but it's just kind of really uh, cheap looking. 
So, yeah. Now, now we're in a completely different part of the game here that seems, as far as I can tell, to be completely unrelated. Um, there might be some connection between Lord Dimitri and the stuff we were doing at the museum. I really don't even know what we were doing there at the museum. I think they said, but again, I have not been paying attention. Uh, and I didn't really pay close attention before. But here's where we get more of the stealth stuff, because we're supposed to just tail this guy. Um, and it's that's just not my strong suit. I find that type of gameplay more frustrating than fun. Uh, I don't like. I don't find it particularly rewarding to not be seen by a guy. Um, let's see. I have to like ring this, and he'll come out. Yeah, there's Dimitri, the ugly, ugly nightclub owner there. So I just gotta follow him, crawl under tables and stuff. Um, I'm not going to do more than one attempt at this, though. I'm trying to remember. Uh, well, never mind. I was trying to remember there was some way to crouch, but I couldn't remember what it was. Um, I I said I would only do one attempt, but that wasn't even an attempt because I was just trying to figure out how to crouch. Uh, I thought it I thought it was one of the face buttons, but I don't know. Um, let's see. What is it? Doesn't seem to. Okay, I guess nothing. Um, I I definitely remember crawling at certain points, like under tables and stuff. I can't go anywhere, this guy's here. Jeez, go away. Well, he saw me. And he got- okay. Whatever, I don't care. This- I really- it's gonna start it back up again, but I just- um, I don't know why I'm having a harder time doing it now than I did the first time I played it, but- um, things just- hold on. Me. I wanna see something. Yeah, okay. He doesn't have any different reaction if you hit him. I was just curious. Okay, so we're gonna uh, quit out here and move on. Um, or actually, I guess we're done. This is this is the last game. Okay, that's, yeah, kind of a... Uh, uh, what, am, what am I trying to say? Anticlimactic way to end the episode, but yeah. We're gonna quit game here. Yes, quit. I, I really want to quit. Uh, so that's our episode. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys... Had fun up until the last two discs. Actually, or the last two games actually had quite a bit of fun. Um, I had enjoyed a lot of these games more than I thought I would. I don't think there was anything uh, I really that I really hated <laughs> until we got to the end. Like even stuff like K and Ties That Bind weren't too painful. Um, so uh, come back next week if you enjoyed this episode. Then uh, we'll play another disc. We'll play some more demos and. Um, just uh, have a good old time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye. You'll always be Ridley, right? It seems that the elves and the other non-humans have been planning this war for a long time. <laughs>